That was Vegas. I don't want to. I don't want to go back, man. Don't say. Don't even say the name of it. I don't want to go back. What happened to you? I don't want to go back. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> Sigmund and Freud got you. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite part. I saw them perform as holograms, actually. Yeah, yeah. It was wild. Oh, I was going to say, I thought you got so fucked up, you saw them performing. <laughs> <laughs> you went to their old theater. <laughs> I was the only one in that bitch. Yeah, old abandoned theater, and you were just <laughs> with, doing a little seance, a little seance with, with gin and tonic. Yeah. Honestly, you know how I feel right now? Huh. Like Carrot Top. Yeah. I was thinking, what if Carrot Top shows him just getting his dick sucked for, <laughs> for an hour straight? And he doesn't have props anymore. They're all sex toys <laughs> for himself. All right, what's, uh, all right, it's Carrot Top. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> his girlfriend comes out. She's like, hi. You know what? I was, I was bagging on Carrot Top so much, and I was like telling my friends when we got to Vegas that I actually searched him on YouTube. And watched one of his sets. And how was it? Fucking hilarious. Wow. Swear to God. Wow. What is it like stand up? No, it's just him getting his dicks up. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? This is the CMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on Patreon at patreon.com slash tiny and if not Mystery of the Flying Saucers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, oh, gay as fuck. I'm trying to get my RC The so-called Flying Saucers. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown? Did you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. That's what Carrot Top Shell sounds like. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, it's Carrot Top. <laughs> All right, for this next bit. <laughs> no, it actually was really funny. Wait, we're going now, right? Mm -hmm. it actually was really it's all like prop shit but he like basically he makes like f like he's got like a thousand props and every single yeah. one is its own joke okay like it's a, it's the punchline basically so I'd be like all right here's um i don't know i can't even think of a good one but it was like here's a this is what trump uses to feed his hair uh -huh. and be like, ah fuck it and he'll like throw it down <laughs> like he like knows how shitty it is yeah and it's like part of the shtick is i'll be like ah fuck it. and he'll go to the next one and, then, and like him just like kind of throwing off the punchlines like that is actually like one of the funniest parts. So then it I mean it's not fantastic, but it it becomes funny. I mean it's like it's, I definitely see why yeah. he is who he is. Yeah. He's definitely got like an original thing going on. Okay. All right. I'm just this just excites me. Why? For when we go see him. We should absolutely should go see him. Yeah. We go, I, Cody and I'll do carrot top. <laughs> after what we just said i don't know if that title really sounds right you guys ready to suck some dick yeah <laughs> god damn it i'm no i, I yeah, mean play, I, i've play. definitely seen a carrot top show we gotta do this okay all right all what right. what is this it's gonna carrot, be him carrot top performs man that fit is wild <laughs> Bro, he looks like the 12th Brockhampton member. <laughs> that fit is hard. Carrot Top Classics? Yeah, probably got some classic bits in there. That's I, we, what's we crazy is play this, his bits are physical, like, to the point that he holds them up. You know what I mean? He he probably has a museum of bits where he just walks around. And says, yeah, the, you see this right here? Yeah. I did this joke in 95. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's called Carrot Top Classics. Yo, he literally refers to himself as C-Top. That's wild. That's actually a pretty sick name. C-Top, yeah. <laughs> C-Top, it's time for me to see some top right now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No, that's actually how I feel, though, like Carrot Top. 
What's up, really? bitch? Is Carrot going to see top right now? <clears throat> what up, bitch? Is Carrot going to see top right now or what? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, so how, how was your... It was, I mean, it was like way too much fun. How'd you get there? Way too much fun? Yeah. What kind of goofy shit is that? It was just like, just, we just gambled a lot and partied. <laughs> Vegas was it was packed. I was gonna make a I was gonna make a sexist joke right there. What? No, let's just cut it right there. Okay. Okay. You sure? That's the system conditioning you right there. What? I've had way too much fun. <laughs> That's what happens when you get deep enough in a relationship. You start you start self you self <laughs> censoring, self managing. I can't be having this much fun. Yeah, right when now. you're when you're a man and you're without your lady, you, when you hit a certain level, you, you your sixth sense perks up <laughs> and she can feel it as well yeah. no matter how far away she could be sleeping she'll wake up in the middle of the night he's having fun right now <laughs> way more fun than he has with me and so you start dialing it back yeah everyone's like have another you're like i, I can't i can't I'm i've had too much. too much i've had too much already <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna go to sleep <laughs> dude it's 7 30 i know we just had too much fun today and i just gotta it's not right if i have this much more fun Without my without my <laughs> lady of honor, <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what it was like, pretty much. No, I I stayed up till seven thirty a.m. every night. And who would have thought? Who would have thought that would cause me to feel like absolute garbage? Right? That's now? crazy. See, Isn't that crazy? Yeah, the way that works. Yeah, I feel like I got hit by a bus <laughs> in the best way possible. It's a great thing that you have that feel right now because we actually got Gary on the ship. Who? To, Gary V. Okay. <laughs> now that you feel like you've been hit by a bus. Yeah, wait, wait. Can we play that clip? I think this maybe will help bring me back to life. Yeah? Yeah. I would say Gary V would say you're in the perfect mindset right now to be successful. Exactly. You've just been hit by a bus. <laughs> now we'll solve a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Spock sent us this. Hold on, pause it. Spock sent us this clip yesterday. And I think it's just absolutely perfect. It's the perfect sequel. Did you see it? No. Oh, you're going to love this, dude. You're gonna love this. Let's go. 25, and I'm like, man, I've really been here like. Bro, I'd rip both my legs off and arms to be 25 <laughs> on some real shit. I'd give up everything I have to be 25 just to play again. <laughs> 25 is a baby. That's how I feel about going back to 16 sometimes, man. Like, I hate it, but fuck, growing up sucks sometimes. Yeah, but it's also amazing if you change your relationship with it. If you really know you're gonna <laughs> live for you one more time, it. It. it slows down. Everybody's got pressure, thinking they gotta do something by 25. Gotta do shit. Oh, First time no. I think about getting to like 25. And I'm like, wait, 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 play it again. I gotta hear it one more time. The, <laughs> this really next part. Like, Bro, I'd rip both my legs off and arms to be 25. <laughs> on some real shit. I'd give up everything All I right, have to be 25. <laughs> Bro, I'd rip both my <laughs> legs off and my arms off to be 25. <laughs> what? You wanna go back to be 20 to be 25, but it's... have no arms and no legs? <laughs> Why is it gotta be so violent? <laughs> I'd rip both my arms and legs. <laughs> that is so fucking graphic, dude. That's such a crazy ass response. I would, I would rip my own arm off. Do you understand what the like the force it would take to do that? Just ah! Ah! And then you gotta rip the other one off somehow with only one arm. <laughs> with your feet. <laughs> and then how are you gonna get your feet off? <laughs> <laughs> so then you get that one off. <laughs> yeah. And so now they're both spraying blood. <laughs> now you have to eat your own legs off. <laughs> but what, once you do, what do at you least do? you'll be 25. <laughs> what do you do? Like hang over a building? Like do you ask your friends like now you're bleeding from the arms screaming your friends are freaking out and you're like put cinder blocks on my legs <laughs> hang me over the building hang it just do it i want to be 25 again <laughs> and then, or is it, no it's the inverse they got to hang your legs over a building and then put cinder blocks here so you lose all the circulation yeah and then they can just detach yeah <laughs> and then you just fall with no limbs on oh top of a building you're just rolling around <laughs> bleeding from every hole and you just start getting younger as you're bleeding out <laughs> yes <laughs> yes how to be young again <laughs> uh, if you change your relationship with it <laughs> yo who is it who is even like what 
what situation even is this? Like, where are they? Yeah, what? Who is who this is kid? This guy? <laughs> Yo, the bro, the, this frame. bro, <laughs> this frame. Y- y- y'all just got to change your relationship with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about fuck boy Gary V. <laughs> like if Gary V and Taylor Holder ran into each other, <laughs> Gary V just. <laughs> He's got a crop top t shirt <laughs> with his last name tattooed <laughs> under his belly button. V. <laughs> Bro, I ripped my fucking arms and legs off to be 25 again. Yeah, but that's just if you change a relationship with it. <laughs> On oh, God. No cap. I no literally cap, stabbed bro. my mom in her eyes to be 25 again, bro. <laughs> <laughs> On God, I would straight up put a, a, a set of billiard balls down my dad's throat <laughs> to be 25 <laughs> again. <laughs> straight up, I feed a nine-year-old a bag of nails. <laughs> <laughs> you guys into crypto, by the way? <laughs> Oh God, I feed a dog a bag of nails and bolts to be 25 again. No cap. <laughs> I straight ripped my toenails out, bro. To be 25 again. Taylor's like, what? what? <laughs> sitting with all the sway boys are all like, this looking at each other like, sick. what the fuck is wrong with this dude? <laughs> right, boys? They're just no cap, dude. I twist up my balls and cut them off <laughs> to be your age. You know what I'm saying? If you just change your relationship with it, <laughs> you know what the best part is? This is his actual account. I feel like his editor like does this on purpose. Oh, definitely. <clears throat> He's like, this is a gold clip right just here. Finds man. the most absurd clips. What's the top top comment on this? Gary, I'm 25. I still have my arms and my legs. What, what do, do I, I do? do? That's a good question, man. <laughs> Rip them off. <laughs> Rip them off. <laughs> Rip them off. Rip them off. Dog, <clears throat> I'm I just I'm dead, man. I'm 20 though. I feel old. Mistake. <laughs> what? He, he just said mistake. <laughs> what? <clears throat> that thought was wrong. Damn, Gary. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just still stuck on his violent, uh, you know, this his violent um, compromises yeah. to be young again. Oh yeah, Gary's. You don't want to be with Gary. I think Gary V is probably the most terrifying person to be with. Like, if you found like a magic lamp with a genie in it, mm-hmm. you don't know what horrible shit he would be willing to do for like three wishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The genie's like, kill him and I'll give you four wishes. He's going to fucking, he won't even blink. Yeah. He will literally murder you. He's demented. Yeah, he is demented. You know, but he, he'd be the worst person ever to, to trip with. Like to take shrooms or something Oh, with. God. Could you Freaking imagine you how out. bad of a trip you'd have? <clears throat> you'd be like, dude, I, you ever think about drowning? <laughs> you'd be like, what? No. This is what it would be like. <laughs> Lean back. Let's Lean waterboard, back. Let's waterboard each yeah, other right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll waterboard you, then you waterboard me. <laughs> or, he, I, yeah, he, he oh, man, he'd just be, at, like, he'd be asking you things, probably weird philosophical questions. Like, yo, you know that, you, you, you know that philosophical thing, like, would you kill one person to save a hundred? Yeah. Would you stab five people to save 200? I don't, what? You gotta stab five people. What do they do? It doesn't matter. You just gotta stab them. Like could hard. You, could you do that? Could you commit murder? Could you? <laughs> could you get murdered? <laughs> Think about getting murdered. <laughs> yeah. Think about that for a second. <clears throat> Would you get murdered to save a hundred people? <laughs> you're just you're just slowly going to the dark place. Yeah. Like, <laughs> going to this awful hole. You ever thought about being buried alive? <laughs> no. No. You wanna be? Don't take me back. <laughs> you ever thought about what your grandma's last words were before she died? <laughs> you ever think about ripping off your grandma's arms yeah. and legs? <laughs> <laughs> to bring her back? To bring would you rip off your arms and legs to bring your grandma back? <laughs> What? <laughs> he, man, 
I'm just sorry. I'm just still thinking about the genie situation as well. <laughs> like, you know, typically, where do you find a magic lamp? It's usually in some hidden cave, right, with a bunch of treasure and shit. Yeah. I feel like this dude would pin you down and just stuff your mouth full of gold coins <laughs> until you suffocated. Yeah. You just fucking just. I'm sorry, bro. I need it though. <laughs> I need that fourth wish. <laughs> 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 Hey guys and gals, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, ExpressVPN. Listen, I know you go to some sick ass websites mm -hmm. and you don't want anyone finding out what those are, especially not the government yeah. for one thing or your ISP for yeah. another thing. Imagine the government knew you were going to websites with sick ass. Exactly. That's why everyone needs a VPN. Mm -hmm. Internet service providers like Comcast or Verizon, they know every single website you visit. ISPs can sell us information to ad companies and tech giants who then use your data to target you. That's why I always get in those ads for those gelatin sick asses that you might want to <laughs> smack around a little bit. So why use ExpressVPN? That's a great question. Yeah. ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet. So people can't peep on your online activity. Fire up the app and click one button. Bada bing, bada boom. It's rated number one by CNET, Wired, The Verge. And it works on phones, laptops, even routers. So everyone who shares your Wi-Fi can be protected. Listen, I don't let anyone sniff around in my encrypted tunnel when I'm going on around the internet. I wouldn't let anyone sniff my tunnel. No. Ever. No. <laughs> I keep my tunnel encrypted to all high heaven, you know? It's so great because it's just, you know, once you turn on ExpressVPN, bada bing, bada boom, your tunnel <laughs> is protected. So you can secure online activity and create an encrypted tunnel for yourself by visiting expressvpn.com slash TMG today. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash TMG. You can get three extra months free. Expressvpn.com slash TMG. Don't let anyone sniff your tunnel. <laughs> so, so, yeah, how much fun did you have in Vegas? <laughs> I had fun, man. I got I to gotta be honest, though, the slots tore me a new one dude yeah oh yeah they were What'd not kind to me what'd you play my my one my slot what is it larry the larry fisherman. oh yeah larry the fisherman mm, so yeah larry, larry took it oh my god he taketh mm. he did not giveth this time S someone i think they tweeted at me or i think they commented on the patreon they said i played wheel of fortune and you were fucking lying it took <laughs> me for 161 dollars <laughs> vanna taketh man that's what i'm saying you they got, giveth, but they taketh. Yeah. Which makes the giveth feel way better yeah. when it finally happens. Didn't happen to me this weekend. Though. So answer this. Did you get to the point where you were just hitting to feel the rush for the potential win? What do you mean? Like it was beyond wanting to win. It was just like, I need, I need that vibe of almost winning. Yeah. We just were like, I want to get back to that that zone you know like one the one time you have a great slot <clears throat> session mm -hmm. and it's like you can't fucking lose yeah or actually any gambling yeah you know when you're on a hot streak it never fucking happens when it finally happens you remember that forever and you it's like you're chasing the dragon you, you know always want to get back there. you know when you're in a casino and you think you're winning yeah <laughs> no but you do <laughs> no like, yeah dude, yeah no, like yeah. <clears throat> this is what i was going to tell you uh one night we came back from the club and we were like let's hit the craps table i was like i don't know how to play craps I've tried to learn like six times. Every single time I try to learn, it's 5.30 a.m. and I can't <laughs> fucking get it. Like every time I sit down, they're like, oh, it's a pass line and you do a come bet. And I'm like, that's funny. Yeah. Come bet. Yeah, literally. And so I get caught up on the come bet every time. And I can't focus on what the what's actually happening it's in the game. It's a come bet. Come bet? Yeah. Come bet. Come, come, come bet. It's called a come bet. Come on. And what if I just, just kidding, just kidding. I would, yeah. I would never. I would never. <laughs> But my, I might just slip in my. I might put a little on the table. Now just, yeah, that's disgusting. That's that's literally a felony. I'm sorry. Could be worth it. It's Vegas. I'm just, I'm just playing. And then you get forcibly removed from the casino. Yeah. Well, I was just joking. Yeah. He said, "Come bet." I was coming to bet. I was coming to bet a come bet. You know what I'm saying? No, oh, come on. Don't squeeze me tighter. What are you doing? What's with the cuffs? <laughs> You're trying to make a combat too right now, huh? <laughs> stop, stop. I'm playing. I'm playing, dude. You're going to gag me next? Please. Yeah. No, nah, man. I'm just playing. <laughs> pull him harder. Pull him harder. harder. Pull him harder. Make him tighter. Make him tighter. What if I'm I call you daddy? We'll make it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Please send me to my room. Take me to my room. Take me to my room. We can make combats all night. Rip my arms off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would kill if you rip my arms off to make me 25 again. Mm. <clears throat> So anyway, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so you're playing craps. So I go downstairs. My buddy's like, "I'm, I'll, I'll teach you craps. I'll teach you how to play." And I was like, "Let's go." 
So we go downstairs and he just doesn't even bother explaining at all. He just Sick. starts hitting. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I started with, and I'm just sitting there, I'm betting whatever he's telling me to bet. I, I started with a, with a, you know how those like chip, chip like holders on the table? So I started with a stack like this big. I ended with like, I was up like $2,000 or something like that. Like he was hitting every single time to the point where people in the casino were cheering. Yeah, I mean. He'd hit and then walk around and be like, are you entertained? And everyone would just start cheering. <laughs> Damn. And I was just getting rich. Yeah. And it was incredible. I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. Next night, lost it all. Same way, playing craps. Yeah, when you get with a good craps player, if there is such a thing, or someone like that, it's messed oh up. Oh my God, it's so much fun. <laughs> Alina's brother-in-law, that dude has wild stories of just, you'll be on the way to the buffet, and he's like, oh, craps table, give me one second. You just come back, he's like, yeah, 600 bucks. You're like, what? what? Yeah. Just, and this, just that, just that. Yeah. He's like, I'm just hitting the grass table real quick. Hey, hey, we have dinner. Yeah. You're like, how? Yeah. How? How do you play this? Yeah. <laughs> what are the, literally, what are the rules? Oh, there's Tell a me combat? what the rules are. There's a combat. There's a combat. And we're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> there's a combat. <laughs> Sorry, I missed all the other things. The <laughs> pass line. I, I hate when you ask because they're like, see, it's really simple. So you, you want to bet down here or over here? Yeah. And if he yeah. hits a two or a seven or a nine, then and then his, his exactly. daughter's going to exactly. come over That's here. That's what it's like every time. <laughs> and then what? Then his daughter is going to show up from <laughs> yeah. her dance recital. If he hits an eight, a 12, or a 19, that's not real because that's not on the dice. I'm messing with you. Anyways, if he hits an eight or a 12, then this guy's going to hit a smorgasbord. Yeah. And then the dice switches over to this other guy who will blow on it and have his friend blow on it, who will throw it. And then, then you know what? It. It's like you bet here, and then they're like, well, then you got to put a bet right behind it yeah. on the table where there is no markings. Yeah. <laughs> like, what is that rule? Why do I, why are there two bets like this? Well, because you have to put in the. Guys, that's insane. Yeah, everything's just reverse. You're like, reverse, Nate, this, that, you short this stuff. Everyone's like, throw it! <laughs> throw it! <laughs> Why did I take those mushrooms? Yeah. <clears throat> just rip your fucking arms off now, dude. Just do it. Yeah, but it was fun, though. It was Vegas is very, very back. Yeah. Busiest I've ever seen it. There was, like, at, at any time that anyone would want food, which in Vegas is every every hour during the day, mm. the line for every restaurant in the, in the Cosmo was, like, five. I couldn't believe the line for fucking Egg Slut. Egg slot is not that good. It's really not. There was 200 people. The line went all scared, the way. Sorry. What? You took your voice up a few decibels there. Sorry. It's not that fucking good. It's not that good. I don't understand. <clears throat> no, I, yeah. It's all right. It's fine. It's cool. Yeah. I'm certainly not a slut for that restaurant. <laughs> I'm certainly not. <clears throat> okay. The line was around the corner, and then it had to go through the lobby. So they broke it up, and they had a security guy there to send people over the lobby when there was enough room. No, hell no. Like, it was ridiculous. Yeah. That was like, we went to Vegas uh, one year when Shake Shack had opened up there. We're like, oh, is it Shake Shack? Should be good. It was the same thing. I was mm -hmm. like, I can't believe I'm standing in this 150-person line for a cheeseburger. Yeah. This is stupid. <clears throat> and Sam is like. So did you eat it all? <clears throat> what? Did you eat anything while you yeah, were there? Yeah, dude. We ate Momofuku. Oh, yeah. We went to Catch. We went to Beauty and Essex. We hit some, like, good restaurants. Yeah. But um, what it's so Sam? funny. Sam's, like, obsessed with this place called Bobby's Burger Palace. <laughs> just, just on the strip. It's, like, nice. not even part of a hotel or anything like nice. that. It's, like, a bitch to get to. To get to a place on the strip, it's, like, you, have to, you either have to walk, and it's, like, 120 degrees outside, or you have to take a cab, like, around the strip and then somehow pull up in front of it. And then he screams at you to get out, then you have to hop over, like, shrubbery yes. to get to the sidewalk yes, again. Yes, and play Frogger th amongst, like, 5,000 people with l tall margaritas. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> and then, you know, drunk people with no shoes. Yeah. Who are four hotels away from their hotel. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it's that way. <laughs> I think it's that way. Yeah. You're like, dude, you're going to have a heat stroke. Yeah. <laughs> Drink some water. <laughs> it really is just an absurd place. So I'm was, happy was to it be good? Out of there. It was Bobby's Burger Pub? We never went. Uh oh. Right. I went one time with him like two years ago and it was like decent. It's just weird. <laughs> Sam gets like obsessed with these like, places, random places. Yeah. Nice. Good, good for him. Guys, we're going to take a quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode and that's 
Babbel. This summer, get the most out of your travels abroad by learning the language of, of your destination with Babbel, the number one selling language learning app. From ordering in restaurants or asking for directions to gaining a deeper understanding of the culture, Babbel makes the whole process of learning a new language addictively fun and easy. With bite-sized <clears throat> lessons you can actually use in the real world, Babbel is a can't-miss travel essential. You all know I love to use Babbel when I'm on the throne. Just learn a little something, mm -hmm. you know, while I'm releasing, I gain. Oh, mucho gusto. Yeah, yeah. Indeed. That's a little phrase I learned as well. Because <laughs> you see, Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go, literally sometimes. Unlike the infamous language classes you took in high school, Babbel designs their courses with practical, real-world conversations in mind, things you'll get to use like in everyday life. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 real language experts. Mm. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. There's so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. So right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of just three. Just go to Babbel.com and use the promo code TMG. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com, code TMG, for an extra three months free. But it was fun. How was your weekend? <laughs> uh, I had the dead eye. First of all, everyone was in Vegas this weekend. Yeah, what, were they? Everyone. Yeah. Even Spock was there for a night. Was he? Yeah. What was he doing? I think him and the lady just, you know, went to chill. Oh, nice of him to hit me up. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Good to hear from you. <laughs> Thanks for texting me. I mean, he was like MIA the whole thing. <clears throat> I hit him up on Telegram to tell him some goofy gamer stuff, and he just wouldn't respond. I was like, huh. all right, dude. I see how it is. It's, it's, probably, it's probably just cool, man. Probably just no reception. <laughs> the casino. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> He's just... Why would he talk to a fucking loser like me anyways? Talk to a small dick S gamer like me. suck. He's in Vegas with a girl and I'm here playing games with my tiny balls. <laughs> my small thumbtack cock. <laughs> it's not even a, you like, can't even call it a cock. It's barely a penis. <laughs> I'm literally a bee. I have a needle <laughs> hanging out the front of my body. <laughs> if I were ever to have sex with someone, I'd probably rip off and stay in her and fill her with poison. I get allergic from my small needle penis. I'd probably That's... die an hour later after I ripped off my tiny ball sack holder. <laughs> this, is the, this is the text you sent him? Yeah. He's in the casino reading this. What the fuck is wrong with this? Dude? I'm not responding to that. <laughs> I'm not responding to this. Of course you wouldn't respond to that. It's, Why, would <laughs> Why would you? Why would you? I literally uh... sting my girlfriend. Yeah, I'm going to do another. Bee cock. Yeah. <laughs> I dress up in a little bee suit and I sting my girl. <laughs> every time every time I wanted sex, I just sting her little clitoris. <laughs> I just bump my needle penis on her clitoris. And, and my stinger breaks off and I die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically just like a human Sibian. She just crawls on top of my little nub and I just flap my wings hard enough to vibrate until she finishes and then I just go fuck myself. Save the bees, right? <laughs> Not me. I suck. <laughs> I'm the worst bee. <laughs> I deserve to be dead and stomped out at a high school basketball game. Just a little bee dick loser. <laughs> so that was my weekend. No, literally, you, Spock, I, I was just swiping through. I think Pilo was there, or maybe I was wrong about that. Like everybody, everybody was in Vegas. Everybody was there. I, really, I, it was so busy. <clears throat> Here's the funny thing: it wouldn't even matter if Spock hit you up because it's probably just way too many people to get anywhere. Yeah. yeah. They meet me at the thing. I I can't. The line for cabs is four days long. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And people are rioting on the strip because it's too hot. So yeah, I'm sitting in Bobby's Burger Palace. <laughs> I actually, have fry sauce with Sam. I usually just act, actually just have to sleep here <laughs> until next Tuesday. That's really the only way I'm getting out. <laughs> So I, I would just try to stay off social media to not be depressed because I'm sitting at my place, which is literally a construction site. Right. I didn't have AC for almost three days. Oh, dang. Um, and it was hot in LA this weekend too, right? Yeah. So I've been staying in a hotel and then we could finally go back to our place. And it, it was like 
at after a month of hotels, I'm done. Yeah. There's no, I just, I can't do it. Anymore. Oh, I know. I, I, I feel you, man. I had the same thing when my place got filled with shit. Yeah. And you're just staying elsewhere. You're like, this stinks. Just, yeah. Living out of a suitcase is, is just annoying for longer than three weeks. Yeah. And so I'm like, I'll, I'll go home. I don't, I don't give a rat's ass. Mm-hmm. I don't give a bee's dick. Mm-hmm. I'm going home. And then, you know, I'm like, I can, I can survive. I'll just buy a fan. Psych. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> so hot. I didn't sleep any night because oh, yeah. I had the fan on 10 blowing onto my face to try to feel like I'm cold. So it dries your eyes out? Oh, I woke up like, you know, just dry SpongeBob every morning. Just, Aah! Yeah. And, but the rest of my body's hot. Mm-hmm. It was so hot that, like, Ollie, every morning after i'd be like come on let's pee he'd be on his side and he would just roll his eye towards me and just like no and he just he just wouldn't want to go to the bathroom until way later really i couldn't motivate him to do anything he's like does, does he does he normally wake you up in the morning no fuck it's <laughs> fucking awesome yeah. god damn <laughs> or tr- i'm trying i'm trying to like train chili to sleep in yeah it's fucking impossible yeah there's nothing you can do it's so annoying. Yeah, Ollie is, um, Ollie kind of has like, he's kind of like a hot Venice guy. <laughs> that fool does not wake up before 12 unless it's to pee with his big balls okay. and go right back to bed. <laughs> and then he'll wake up later and be like, what are we eating? <clears throat> Rub my belly. You feed him and he's like, all right, that's chill. I'm in the bed. I'm heading back to bed. I'm heading back to bed if you want to play. <laughs> And by play, I mean just rub my belly until I fall back asleep. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You're like, you want to play? You want to play fetch? Nah. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm posted actually. Yeah. 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 It makes you feel like a dick. Ah, uh, honestly, <laughs> just gotta change your relationship with it. <laughs> Playing? <laughs> yeah. It's like you know, you want to play with me? You can, but I don't play. Mm-mm. We hitting Bobby's Burger Palace or what? <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah. He he would just, you know, he'd be like, I'm not peeing for, you know, whatever. And mm. there, at night, I would turn all the lights off, open all the windows. I'd sit in the dark in front of my computer mm. with the fan blowing on me. It was real, real gamer stuff, sweating it out. Nice. That's the first time I've gamed in boxers only in maybe like a decade. What were you playing? That's the other thing. I was trying to play different games. It was just so hot. It wasn't. It didn't feel like gaming. It mm-hmm. felt like I was trying to just put my mind somewhere. Mm. I tried different games. None of it really exciting, mm. which is sad to say. It sounds really depressing. It was. It sounds it just, horrible. It wasn't fun. And and I would, you know, there's no one to game with because yeah. literally everyone's out of the house. So yeah. I did what any other dude does when all their friends are out of contact. Crank off? Not even. Consume sports. Ah, it wasn't. It wasn't even like crank off vibe. It was just hot, and yeah, I guess that would have made you even more hot. Yeah, it's like what I'm gonna do: jack off and potentially pass out and hit my head on the towel rack behind me. Well, I mean, you might as well make it as sad as you possibly can. You just try to die from jerking yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> it's just bleeding out. Of <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's what the amb- that's what the ambulance would have said. Yeah, <laughs> I told myself like, oh, okay, I'll try to be productive. Maybe I'll shoot a few YouTube videos. No way. <laughs> if I would have shot a YouTube video, I'd be like, hey guy, it's it's another ear DMs. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I consume. I, I resort to sports. That's how I kept myself distracted. Um, and I consumed esports. Mm-hmm. Motorsports, okay. Basketball sports, mm-hmm. fight sports. Mm-hmm. It like I understood by Sunday, after two days of sports consumption, why people have to cut themselves off. You ever talk to a dude who's like, I had, I had to stop watching sports; it was ruining my life. Yeah, because they're betting on it. I mean, there's that, but also I think I could see how you just start to crave, <clears throat> like. Uh, more sports yeah it's just a weird and then espn is just awful because that's basically a living casino right you know or just even mild adrenaline hits where you're like oh 
competitive badminton. I got an hour. Yeah. And you just start yeah. finding yourself. And I'll watch bocce ball. Fuck it. Yeah. ESPN 4. Yeah, you know. what's on. Do you know uh, uh, Brad Trosh from Michigan? <laughs> Great bocce ball player, man. He <laughs> killed. That's what you turn into, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Brook Linen. <clears throat> if your everyday has started to feel ordinary, then transform it into something magical wow. by upgrading your bedding, loungewear, towels, and robes. Step into the new season in style and comfort and get it all from one place, Brook Linen. Brook Linen was started to create beautiful, high quality home essentials that don't cost an arm and a leg. And people, what a success! Brook Linen works directly with manufacturers to make luxury available directly to you without the luxury level markups, so you get their amazing array of products at a reasonable price. Brook Linen has something for your every comfort need, ideal for a seasonal refresh because they're launching new products, colors, and patterns all the time. I'm talking buttery soft, breathable sheets, plush and absorbent towels, which is good for you gamers, cozy robes and comfy loungewear you'll want to put on and never take off. Listen, they're so confident in their core products that they come with a 365 day warranty. That's a year. And fans are confident too. They've received over 75,000 five-star reviews and counting. And their customer service, clearly they get their eight hours every night because they're a dream to work with if you ever have an issue. <laughs> they're so good, I love. I love them. You love the dream team that they put together? Love it. Yeah. I call them all the time just to talk, just to chat. Sometimes you know? I wonder if they're actually just sleeping on Brooklyn and while they're chatting because they're so comfortable. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Or maybe tucked into a little robe. Yeah. You know? They're like, hey, how's it going? How are you? I'm what chilling. with today? <laughs> So give yourself the comfort refresh you deserve and get it for less at Brook Linen. Go to brooklinen.com and use the promo code TMG to get $20 off with the minimum purchase of $100. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com and enter promo code TMG for $20 off with the minimum purchase of $100. That's brooklinen.com, promo code TMG. I was, Saturday was because the, uh, the AC was getting turned back on on Saturday. And that was like my true sports sicko day. Right. I woke up at 8.30 and I'm watching Formula One on my laptop and just sweating down my forehead. <sighs> <laughs> and the AC comes back on. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Postmates, more sports. It's just sports, 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 sports. sports. <laughs> UFC from four to nine or some crazy shit. And was it a good, a good uh, fight? It was pretty good. And then Anderson Silva boxed. Oh, nice. Yeah. Wait, he, you boxed? Yeah. Yeah. Like the fighter, like the MMA fighter. Mm -hmm. Oh, he did. It was like classic Andy. It was, it was, it was a good watch. That's cool. It was down in Mexico, so you know my buddy was theorizing. <laughs> probably did a, just a just a little, a little bit of juice, a little juice. Yeah, man. it's okay. Get a little beef okay. up. Yeah, he's, he's old in man. He's a, Fuck it. He's forty two. Yeah, why not? Do a little trend. Get a little, get a little tea in there. Yeah, why just not? Spike a little. Yeah, that that felt good. Um, but yeah, the the boy Carrington from Love Island stopped. Dude, yeah, tell me about that, man. He literally was <laughs> so just so funny. He texts me like, "Yeah, I just hung out with Carrington." I was like, "That's random as fuck." We just we just like stood there for thirty minutes because <laughs> there's nowhere to go. Yeah, like he came inside my place. Relax, relax, guys. He came inside your place. No, come on. Did he do a combat? He did a combat inside your place. Yeah, as soon as him and his boy, they they went inside my place and did he sniff your tunnel? Absolutely. Not. <laughs> Well, it's actually funny you say that because to get around my place right now, you have to go through these <laughs> plastic zippers. It's okay. basically like breaking through a high school football banner nice. to go into any room. Fuck yeah. You just, I'm here. <laughs> uh, so it's, you know, I kind of do have a tunnel. So I kept the, I kept the tunnel encrypted. Yeah. N zero sniffing. Okay. Here's the other part. My kitchen is completely bagged off with a tarp. Gotcha. So I have to go through a little tunnel to get any water anything anything out of the fridge okay i've just given up on eating right uh so yeah anyway we go into like my backyard area and it's just covered in stones and wood and other shit and we find the four places to stand and we just stand <laughs> like in a little triangle we're like yeah so <laughs> so you just stood there stood and, and talked about what random stuff like well who, how long are you here huh. you know uh, I saw he was chilling with, um, was it Johnny? Johnny, yeah. And uh, who else? Like, they, do they all still hang out? Um, 
he's he keeps in touch with everyone hmm. I, don't, I don't know what the relationship is like between everyone else okay but i asked him and he's like yeah i talked to everybody pretty much um uh yeah so i think he'll be out in la permanently around august oh, okay which is you know this would be cool if he stopped by mm -hmm. but yeah he's, yeah we'll know. get him on again yeah that'd be fun yeah he uh it's good he's good it was literally like we just talked about nothing and <clears> then they left huh he's he had a few sentences which i you know we're just very hot guy sentences. <laughs> I was laughing at this picture he posted on a story today. Yeah. Look at his fucking arm. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. How do you even get that jack? The, the kid is ripped. Look, look at his fucking arm. There's like, no, never mind. It disappeared. <laughs> Why that looks like a, ma like a mountain. Yeah. You know? I mean, in person, it was really funny. You know, I was showing him some, like, he kind of poked his head in one of the rooms and he saw some of my workout gear. He was like, oh, you've been getting gains, man? You're probably getting bigger than me. And I laughed and I said, <laughs> what an asshole thing to say. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? Don't fucking patronize me. In what world, you Carrington? ripped jackass. In what world, Carrington, am I gaining more weight than you? <laughs> you think I'm fucking stupid? Do you? You probably think I'm a little bee, a bee guy, right? Yeah. I'm a little bee cock. Yeah, you can you? just lie to me. You just tell me. No, you're probably getting bigger than me. Shut the fuck up, you hornet. You're a hornet. I'm just a bee. Yeah. <laughs> Bzz. <laughs> Bzz. <laughs> uh, I laughed. I didn't even respond to that that statement. Yeah. He said that. I said, oh, boy. How long are you here? <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the guy. He, honestly, yeah, he's a good dude. Shout out, shout out, Carrington. No, Gotta get him back on. Honestly, he's a. Uh, um, <clears throat> that man is twenty three. Just doing hot guy shit. He's doing hot guy stuff. You know, I I, I would tell him stuff. You know, he'd say something, and I say, you know, that's the most hot guy thing I've yeah. heard. Yeah. And I told him and his friend, I said, I don't, I don't, I don't really like connect with you guys like that because your experience in life is so much different than mine. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We just went up and they let us skip the line. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the story every time. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. rolled up and honestly, it was weird. There's a lot of let us go. On I don't want to tell the story that he told me about what led to what they were doing that night, but okay. I laughed and I was like in, in no universe did it just involve like yeah we just, this, yeah they, just, they invited us yeah just being hot and then this like <laughs> famous person was like you guys should you know oh it's your birthday i'm gonna i'm gonna throw you a little party like yeah. kind of like that yeah we met pharrell dap me up and invited me over and bro we're gonna hang what? there was there was like a you know someone someone got some free money just by way of being hot awesome Awesome. Love like that. Like literally a stack of cash. <laughs> oh my God. That's so good. So it's like you look at that and you look at the cart girl hey dude, and it nice. just, yeah. just makes it hard to not want to be hot. <laughs> we should be hot. <laughs> I want, Can we get I, some work done? I, I, something. Fuck, man. I, I'll tell you, man. <clears throat> Karen would not. fillers or something, you know? Karen would not be where he, uh, he was if he was 5'7. Yeah. It doesn't work. Mm hmm. You know, that's kind of why I I always think about, should I w work harder at gaining more and more weight? And I'm like, no, because I'm just a ripped ass 5'8". Yeah, dude. there's a ceiling. <laughs> just <laughs> at a point. It's the Joe Rogan, that's the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> Don't talk about Joe. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Did you ever talk about Joe? <laughs> he's not 5'3", he's literally 5'7". Literally 5'7". <sighs> Oh, I, got, I, I got a message this weekend that was like, how dare you speak about Joe Rogan? I saw that. How dare you criticize Joe Rogan negatively, you LA elite. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what your problem is, dude. I agree with you. I am on <laughs> your team. What did, he, what did they say? They were like, he actually has guests with like acclaim on. Yeah, critical acclaim. Critical dude. acclaim on his show. Yeah. He's like a critical thinker. How dare you? <laughs> That's the crazy part. I wasn't daring to, dude. I wasn't. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I know that was long winded. Sorry. It's just I'm I'm David Lynch when I tell my stories. Mm. Who is David Lynch? <laughs> a guy who's secondary to me. Mm. It's just you know, he's a director or something. Mm. What did, what did he direct? 
Oh, I mean, just let's let's go let's go through his little resume. I know David Linhagen from Crazy Stupid Love. Remember that? Yeah, that little movie. That, that's a great movie. Yeah, David Lynch. Just what do we got here? Twin just, Peaks. Just you know, Twin <clears throat> Peaks, Dune. Oh wow! Okay, just little cult classics here mm. and there. Just little cult classics, man. Blue Velvet. Mm. Yeah. Bees. He directed Bees. <laughs> it's a documentary short <laughs> about you. Yeah, about me. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of like David Lynch's muse. Okay. Yeah. Got he it. empowers me to tell long-winded stories. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> um yeah, I just have to say I'm um, Lewis lost this weekend. <laughs> yeah, did he? <laughs> yeah, he did. So like what what's the deal? Is he just losing it at this point? No, man, it's Is this uh, the clip? Uh, so, uh, we don't, we don't have to do this. Basically, I'll, I'll make it short. Basically, Lewis had too much sex the night before. Okay. So I think it messed with him a little bit okay. on the day of. Yeah, yeah. No, honestly, it's, um, Red Bull's car is just doing a little bit better on the last three tracks. And like, they figured out their race strategy a little bit better. So th you could tell, I think they're getting in somebody's head at Mercedes. Cause basically this weekend... Red Bull did to Mercedes what Mercedes has done to them a, a couple times, which mm -hmm. is the ti like tires, they don't last. It's like, you know, it's like you have to swap your condom when you're going at it. Okay. Because you're wearing it down. Right. So when you're doing 300 drills per second with your little B dick, mm -hmm. it's dangerous to keep rolling on that okay. condom because you might break through and you might potentially spill. Gotcha. So you got to swap. <clears throat> so the boy... The, Mercedes drivers were were like Lewis and Valtteri were like, dude, this is a this is a two condom this is a two condom trip, bro. You can't make me fuck with my little B dick for this one condom. Okay. For the whole that's crazy. I'm not picking up on the. <laughs> Basically, you <laughs> what start. What does that mean? You start with a set of tires. Gotcha. Okay. You start with a set of tires, okay. and then you need to swap them at some okay. point. So swapping your rubber. So basically, Mercedes plan to do one stop because they're just trying to stay out ahead because they were losing down the straights. So their strategy was like, oh, if we just stay out, Red Bull has, has, is behind us. So we just forced them to try to drive around and we play defense. And Red Bull was like, nah, we'll, we'll do a two stop and we'll be fast enough to catch up and then get around them. So Max Verstappen gets around Lewis in like the second to last lap. It, it was like nail biting. Hmm. Cause it was like, yeah, like eight, nine laps leading up to it. And it's just like cutting down time. And then Lewis, kind of spilled because his tires were shit and I think it was like getting in his head a little bit you could hear between his voice and Valtteri's voice they were feeling the pressure a little bit Valtteri got fucked out of the podium he's like by the end of it he's like why the fuck did no one listen to me and they're like talking to him after the race and he did like angry girlfriend shit where just no response hmm. Valtteri go ahead and uh, put these settings on the car nothing wow pissed who, who does he drive for Valtteri drives for Mercedes. Every okay. team has and, two drivers. Oh, gotcha. So yeah. it's Valtteri and and, uh, and uh, Lewis. Lewis. Okay. Yeah. Um, gotcha. Yeah. Crash course Formula One. Yeah. Oh, shout out. So you can hear their voices in the car when they're they because they they'll they'll give like radio. Gotcha. You know, <laughs> like Lewis, like the whole race is like front tire, right, rear left, completely gone. <laughs> Freaking out, dude. And like he, but it's like you never know with him because he does a little bit of a show. I think he does it to fuck with people. Mm. My tire's going out, but he's secretly just fine. He's getting fine. getting head. He's like, he's like, oh no! <laughs> oh, my tire's going out. My, my tire's going. Please, he's got two women in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, they're just feeding him grapes, rubbing his body. <laughs> yeah, he's not even really watching the road. He's greased up. Yeah, <laughs> just in a speedo. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't even drive with his suit on. <laughs> yeah, no. He's only got no helmet. <laughs> Ooh, my tires are going off. Laughing, <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Uh, guys, we're gonna take another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode. That's DoorDash. Mm. Did you forget one thing at the store? Now you can get snacks, drinks, and household essentials in 30 minutes with DoorDash. 
DoorDash connects you with restaurants you love right now and right to your door. And now you can get the grocery essentials you need with DoorDash, too. Get drinks, snacks, and other household items delivered in under an hour. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be safely left outside your door with contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. And for a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of 15 bucks or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code TINY. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code TINY. Don't forget, that's code TINY. 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change. Terms apply. So, uh, yeah, it was a... Uh, Lando had some, some... That kid, man, he stayed out a long time and then... Uh, Went from 11 to 5. It was crazy. Anyway, sorry. I'm getting sidetracked. Is that the kid you interviewed? That's Dan Tictum. Mm. He's a Formula 2. He's uh, he's having a good season as well. Mm. He's he's fighting for a Formula 1 seat. But uh, Lando, he's like the dude who streams as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, I was just hype off of cars because I got my little cart, baby. Mm-hmm. I won't talk about it, but. You can talk about it. You got one. You bought a cart. Yeah, I bought a cart, a little Tony cart. Nice. Um, someone are you had, like souping it up. Like, what's the deal? No, nah, it's kitted out the ass. Okay, it's and you're racing it, right? Yeah, so I think I'll be racing on July 10th. So, what is the deal? Is there like a prize? Like, do you win money if you win, or what? I mean, the point? nah. This race would just be kind of like uh, it's just like club, like it's just fun. Yeah, it's just for fun. It probably just probably some decent drivers, you know, warming up maybe for the real season. It'll be like a mixture of skill. Okay, but yeah, if you. If you're like, the the path is if you're young, you typically start in carts to get up into like formula and like real driving. Gotcha. But um, other than that, it's like hobby. Mm-hmm. So I, met, I actually want to bring this up. So I told my driving coach, I was like, yo, I didn't want to tell you because I was like afraid you're going to clown me, but I, I puked. And he, he laughed. He's like, yeah, you probably will more times than you won't. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> So then we go out and do a session and his track is hot as balls and this cart rips and there's no limiter on it, which was scary because I go down this back straight and typically I hit a governor on the other cart. So it's like cutting you off. Mm-hmm. It's like, my, 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 This thing is like, and you, I don't know, just makes your ass pucker because mm-hmm. you don't know when it's going to quit. Mm-hmm. So, you know, could be doing like 70, 80 down there. And so... Just for perspective, I would do laps on the old cart on that track, and it'd be like a minute five, minute 10. This thing, I was doing 45, 46s. So Damn. it's just like a way different speed. Um, so I do one session. It's hot as hell. And I get out the cart. We go in this little room. And he's like, all right, push-ups, sit-ups, let's go. I'm like, what? <laughs> he's like, starts now, man. I'm like, starts what? He's like, you want to drive bigger cars? Like, you got to get right. So then I start unzipping my suit. He's like, uh-uh. <laughs> Put it back up. So he's like, I'm like doing push-ups and doing sit-ups. I'm like, I didn't prepare for this. And he hands me a jump rope. I'm like, you got to be fucking Oh, no. Me. Nightmare. So, so it gets to a point where I'm like, I'm literally about to pass out. And he's like, all right, all right, take a break. And I'm like lying on my back, I have my legs up, and I'm drinking some water. And I come out the room, and then him and his buddy are there. And he's like, look at him, a little heat stroke over here. That's what they were calling me, a little heat stroke. <laughs> it's kind and, of a sick name, actually. Yeah. And then his, and his boy was like, oh, yeah, you hot? You a little hot? Drink some water. You gonna, you gonna throw up? Yeah, you gonna puke straight you? up. Yeah, Just poking your stomach. Yeah. come on. Yeah. <laughs> he damn near. He damn near. He put his hand out and he put his finger like right <laughs> really? to my stomach. He's like, "Yeah, you want to drink some water?" I was like, no, I'm "Come on, little pukey boy." Yeah, yeah. I'm certain they would have kept going. I would have yacked and they would have been laughing and squeezed more out of me. <laughs> Stood behind me like toothpaste, just like, "Come on." <laughs> well, perfect cylinder comes out of your mouth. <laughs> Everyone listening is like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Wendy, please. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, but it was good. So I'm I'm going out again on Wednesday, and yeah, I think I'm gonna do this little race. Damn, that's sick. Yeah, congrats. Thanks, man. The race is kind of like crazy because with carts, they'll just like line up like thirty of them, mm-hmm. and it's a rolling start. So you don't like start from a stop. Then they just wave a flag. So everyone just has their foot three quarter, and then it's like flat out. And carts is is like literally, you know, you're you're rubbing bumpers. Yeah, you're bumping uglies. Bumping uglies the whole time. Bumping fuzzies. Yeah, and uh, so should be pretty hectic, but it'll be fun. That's anyway. sick. 
Yeah. I'm just, this is all to become a cart girl. Mm-hmm. Someone, yeah. <laughs> someone asked, they were like, do you, I don't get it. Why do you race go-karts? Like it's to become a cart girl. To a golf cart girl. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This yeah. is the training you need to do that. Yeah. yeah. It's actually a way, it's super intense job. I mean, you have to be in shape because mm-hmm. you need to be attractive. Yep. Uh, you need to be able to handle yourself on the green. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you may be required to drink with the others to get your tips. Right. And so when you're ripping a golf cart yep. at you have you know, have 23 miles an hour, yeah, you have to be able to handle the pressure. Especially in the rain, mm-hmm. you know? Yep. Sometimes the rain. Well, mm-hmm. that's if you're a guy. If you're a dude, yeah. Uh, if you're a cart girl, though, you're going to be racing in that blistering hot Arizona sun, 110, so you could glisten yeah. for the men out <laughs> there on the course. There was a lot of people that said we were right about the golf or about the cart boys stuff. Oh, yeah. There was about how t- they like get the worst shifts because yeah. <laughs> they're like, you guys don't make money. Yeah, this dude said, oh, man, I should have said this. This dude said, <laughs> he was like, I was a cart guy for a summer. Yeah. He's like, he's like, um, uh, a guy, he's like, I never got tips. And uh, all they ever told me was, you're not as attractive as the last g- girl. <laughs> Job sucked, period. <laughs> oh that's funny (laughs) what up boys get back (laughs) sorry (laughs) you boys want some cold beer dude shut the fuck up man Uh. (laughs) okay i'd rip my arms and legs off (laughs) for the girl to come back (laughs) i'd literally feed my kid a bag of nails for the girl to come back can we watch that video of Jeff Bezos of the newscasters laughing at the, at the spaceship? Yeah. Have you know seen this? Thing. Have you seen his rocket that he's using to go to space? Yeah, uh, no. Wait, oh, wait, guys, real quick, by the way, don't don't be mean to Mark L. Wahlberg. Some people were being a little mean. I don't think they were being mean to him. Were they? I, some people were. Some people were. Like, but he tweeted. He was like, oh, I love Noel Miller, too. No, I know, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, he didn't... You didn't do anything. Yeah. Okay. They're getting mad at me, mostly. They're it's, all getting mad at me. It's fine. Guys. Comments were like, I can't believe you haven't seen Noel Noel's videos about Temptation Island. I was like, dude, we don't just sit around all day and watch YouTube <laughs> videos. Like, <laughs> I think this is coming from the place where people still don't realize we see each other every week for two hours and we talk every day. Do you, and do you know how, sh- how much shit we make? Just, yeah. <laughs> It's like we don't have time. I don't have time to watch 20. And I, I do watch. I watched the TikTok video that you posted last oh, week. Thanks, dude. I watched that whole thing. I thought I was it was hilarious. Say, there's no. But it's like we don't watch every single one of each other's there's videos. There's no time, like, guys. And people think like because we don't do that, we're not friends. <laughs> guys, there comes a point. We've seen each other tell jokes a lot. <laughs> it's not funny to us anymore. <laughs> we're hardly funny to each other anymore. Okay. No, actually, I watch every video, and I watch <laughs> oh, no. every podcast episode, and I watch every single podcast clip. Because you need clips for your stand account. Because I need clips for the stand account that I make about you. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> just Noel stand account. <laughs> Guys, you heard it here first. Cody's actually the biggest stand account I have. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, just some, some people are giving him a little heat, and it's just like, yo, be, I, Mark actually hit me up after the first Temptation Island, and he he was like, dude, the. You know, he's quoting some of my bits. He was like, I love it. So I've been saving an appearance for him for something I'm working on. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. It's just taking me a little bit longer. So it's just, you know. But it's, I mean, dude, I'm, I'm happy. He, he's the fucking best. I, that's what I'm he saying. I'm the nicest guy in the world. Like, I'm, I'm glad we're both like just putting the spotlight on him because like he is a, is no problem with jokes. Like, dude has great sense of humor. Oh yeah, like he's totally down with whatever. Yeah, and uh, he's been on some crazy ass shows. Oh yeah, his his like between the show that you watch and Temptation Island and everything in between. I mean, like Antiques Roadshow. Yeah, I mean, like th- even him doing that. Like they're so wildly different. Yeah, and I think the coolest part is when you bring him up. Everyone's like, oh dude, you haven't seen him on this show. Yeah, and they always have like some random ass show that you've yeah. been on. So his whole library is crazy. Dude's got I mean, a catalog. You can tell, like, as soon as I jumped on the Zoom with him, it was like his, it was like he just oh, yeah. took off. And I was yeah. like, this is why, I mean, this is just talent. Yeah. That's all this is. Yeah. This is why this guy so like, gets cast in all these shows. because he's just fucking good. He's also got those eyes, man. Yeah, exactly. And the eyes. Piercing and, yeah. blue eyes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got a bunch of comments from people being like, he's so fucking hot. (laughs) God, Jesus, those eyes. I'm like, I say, that's the only man who I I was like, I had a hard time locking eyes with through footage. Yeah, I know. I felt like he was looking at me. Yeah. I'm like, oh, man. Hey. (laughs) Hey. Yeah. I don't like this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Super nice guy. Big Uh, shout out to Mark L. Wahlberg, dude. What a what a gift and a curse. Because mm-hmm. yeah, he was probably coming up in his career. And he's getting that whole, you know, that office space thing where it's like, Michael Bolton? Yeah. yeah. And, and he's like, no. Yeah. No, actually, my eyes are better. Mm. My eyes are better. I mean, just to have the same name yeah. as another Mark Wahlberg that's yeah. also coming up in Hollywood at the same time? Yeah. Well, I said, I was like, what was that like? He was like, I want to say like I d- it doesn't matter, but it, it is so annoying every day of my life. Yeah. 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 Um, Mark Wahlberg, Marky Mark. Yeah. No, guys, this is Mark L. Wahlberg. Mark L. Wahlberg. Mark Legend Wahlberg. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Mark Lick This Dick. Well, I'm, okay, I won't do that. <laughs> I won't do that. Sorry, Mark. So shout out Mark, man. Let's stick with Legend. Yeah, Mark Legend. He is Wahlberg. a legend. Thank you. To the fullest. For being so receptive to us. I think he knows Tetra as well. Do oh, you yeah. Tetra? Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Guys, you don't realize Mark L is connected mm-hmm. through all levels of entertainment. Yep. He's kind of like the Kevin Bacon of media. Of reality TV shows. Of reality TV shows. Yeah. Everyone is pretty much at least seven degrees separated from Mark L. Yeah. So, anyway. Uh, Aussie host laughing at a spaceship. So that's Jeff Bezos' spaceship. Oh, my voice cracked. Wow. Nice. Yeah, that thing is phallic. I mean, it just, it looks like a penis. Yeah. So play it. Rockets everywhere this morning. <laughs> well, outdoing his fellow billionaires in the race to space. <laughs> Amazon boss <laughs> Jeff this guy's Bezos losing will it. blast into orbit next month. <laughs> Do you know what they call that? A rocket. They call it Blue Origin. <laughs> <laughs> Does that look a little odd to you? <laughs> Joining us now for more. <laughs> is US correspondent Alison Bash- Dude, they're all Petrowski Alley. Dying. The Bezos flight will officially kick off the company's space tourism business. Yes. That's right, Carl. Good morning to you, Carl. Good morning to you, Ali. That's right, Ka- 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 Carl. Launch the uh, interesting shaped rocket. Thanks for pointing that Man, out, Carl. Australian we'll people. You can pause it. Out of- Australian people rule. Yeah, they just they just call it what it is. That's. I mean, that looks like a big old dick. That's a space dick, man. It's literally a space dick. <laughs> I can't believe he unveiled that. Like, <laughs> behold, <laughs> curtain drops. Everyone's like, <laughs> that's what a it? dick, mate. <laughs> oh my god, that's a dick. <laughs> it's Bezos the biggest to blast off. <laughs> it's the biggest one, right? <laughs> I think Elon's is bigger. No, it's not. <laughs> you hear someone paid twenty eight million dollars to go up with him? Isn't that crazy? Dude, this is the, what is this tax sham that they're doing with this? There's something really off about this. What is the point? What is the point? This, dude, this is like some Austin Powers shit. He's literally flying a dick into the atmosphere. Not even like this high though. He's gonna get. To, he's gonna get to like the shitty part of space. Yeah, he's not sure. gonna be up with us. He's not up here. No, this is the cool part. It's crazy how the government declassified us. Yeah, assholes, man. Assholes. Honestly, I mean, we didn't know we would be buying Candace in the future, but you know, they basically declassified us because, mm-hmm. like, that was our shit. Yeah. Now we have to like change our plates. Yeah. Because now everyone knows mm-hmm. we're like around. Yeah. It's whack. Sorry. Anyway, you could see our ship from the outside too. Yeah. It looks like a vagina, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's like it's it's, <laughs> it's like the it's curvaceous. <laughs> It's lipped. <laughs> just, you know, depends. It looks like a, a whap. Yeah. Yeah. Wet ass. But. <laughs> I mean, it's still, it's still round, but, you know, it's like there's definitely labia yeah. <laughs> type attachments to it. <laughs> it's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a labia on a dish. Mm-hmm. Served labia. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. What is the point of this? 
I think it's a tax write-off or I like that conspiracy that he's going to fake his death. Oh, yeah, I like that. That would be pretty tight. So then he can manage Amazon from the grave. Yeah. Mm. And the dude that paid 28 million bucks to go up yeah. is not in on it. So Jeff is like, you, sorry, man, you got to be dead too. Yeah. How crazy. He's like, would I have family though. He's like, I t- you were the one that fucking paid for this. <laughs> Stupid. They're, dude, they get up one morning and the dude wakes up late. And Bezos is at the bottom of the ship already, like in some crazy ass suit. And he's like, oop. Guy's like, what? <laughs> Sorry, dude. It's a button and the shit just opens up and he just <laughs> falls out. And then it closes. It's like self destruct in 60, 59, 58, 57. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Wish I could explain, but. <laughs> Honestly, you're fucking so stupid for paying that money to come up here. Epstein, I'll be right down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's going to the secret island with Epstein. Yeah. And they're all going to be laughing at their billionaire uh, dead income earnings. Yeah. I bet that's going to be a thing. Epstein's going to have like a shell company that's still earning dollars in 10 years. And it's like money's been being deposited there all while he's dead. Mm. You know? That's a good conspiracy. Amazon's going to be putting money in some weird account uh-huh. that has spent expenditures. They're Sounds going. like some QAnon shit. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well so here I am. Get illuminated, dude. <laughs> Get illuminated, dude. <laughs> That's Bro, a joke. Speaking is a joke. Speaking of cult shit, man, I watched True Detective season one. Yeah. Oh my fuck. Do you even watch TV or cinema, dude? Oh my fuck, dude. Do you even watch TV or cinema? <laughs> now I can say I do. After watching that. Yeah, finally. A classic. True Detective season one in 2021. Who even are you? I know, dude. I know. I'm a loser. Clearly a little B-dick loser. I know. But it really is one of the best shows I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. It ends a little weird. Mm-hmm. But, man, the first, like, four episodes are, like, some of the most... In, like, I was captivated. Mm-hmm. I've never, like, I, I can't remember the last time I didn't want to, like, look at my phone while watching TV. Yeah. And I didn't even... I couldn't even look. I yeah. didn't want to pick it up, you know? Yeah. I was so drawn in on this. First time you didn't want to interrupt a scene with, this is what it looks like when I eat ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I have a whole new respect for Matthew McConaughey after that. After that, yeah, of like, course. Why did we ever make fun of him? Because uh, we... Cause, that man cause, put on the best performance I've ever seen. Because we're B-dick losers. I know. We're tiny little stinger dick. We want to be that guy. That's why we made fun of him. We hate that yeah. we aren't him. Every time I have sex, I die. Yeah. I know, we're actually dead right now. That's, happened with Sig, that's what happened with Sigmund and Freud. <laughs> Sigmund and Freud. <laughs> they, had, they had sex with their little bee dicks. We'll, <laughs> we'll end the episode. Pull up the picture of us as Sigmund and Freud. It's, it's yeah, it's Sigmund and Freud. Sorry, I thought you said Siegfried and Roy, and I was like, no, not Sigmund not and Freud. Sigmund and Freud. This was posted on our subreddit, I believe. That's us. Yeah, <laughs> kind of got my chin wrong. The, wrong. the tiger, that's Spock. <laughs> <laughs> that's horrifying. <laughs> kind of got my chin wrong, just a little bit. Should this be the new album art <laughs> for the podcast? For the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, dude. <laughs> it's hilariously bad. <laughs> kind of like it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. We'll consider. Anyway, guys, uh, Vegas, we have shows all week. <laughs> Get your Sigmund and Freud tickets now. Playing every single day at New York, New York Hotel. We have a new cat. Uh, its name is Spock. <laughs> oh, by the way, oh, fuck. What? Oh, fuck. We forgot to wish everyone happy Prime Day. Oh, Fuck. Not what you, what you know. We'll, we'll kick it off in the bonus with Happy Prime Day. Okay, yeah. We'll let yeah. the people see. Well, is it still Prime Day today, or is it Happy Belated Prime? It's kind of it's. It's still Prime Day. It's still, Prime, it's still day. Prime Day today. Yeah. Okay, but by the time this comes out, it'll be a Happy Belated for everyone else. Yeah. For everyone else, but well, we can wish each other a Happy Prime Day. We can. Okay. Yeah. We got a cake for Prime Day, so we're gonna be eating the cake. Gonna, for we're gonna Prime eat that day, in the bonus. Guys. All right. <laughs>